Hello, and welcome to Regina Christian School's graduation ceremony of 2020. COVID-19 has brought many firsts into our world, and this moment is one of them, as we join together to celebrate our graduating class for the first time by video. We are glad to have you join us. Please sit back and enjoy the introduction to Regina Christian School's graduating class of 2020. Janae Airy, daughter of Sean and Danielle Airy. Daly Bellegarde, daughter of Riel and Penny Bellegarde. Jayush Behag, son of Vinone and Helen Behag. Isaac Christensen, son of Brian and Tamara Christensen. Alexa Cullen, daughter of Stacy and Kim Cullen. Jaden Elick, son of Jerry and Mona Elick. Daisy Flamin, daughter of Damien and Tammy Flamin. Arabella Fogarty, daughter of Lisa and Ron Fogarty. Jessica Geisum, daughter of Corden and Rachel Geisum. Curtis Giambattista, son of Christy and Tony Giambattista, and biological son of Tanya Musk. Caleb Hagland, son of Rick and Marlene Hagland. Isabel Hoffman Brum, daughter of Paolo and Silvana Hoffman Brum. Solveig Hovdestad, daughter of Greg and Ula Hovdestad. Yun Ho Jung, son of Jin Young Jung and So Hee Jung, and homestay son of Sheldon and Valerie Dean. Do Hoon Kim, son of Jin Dai Kim and Hyun Suk Lee, and homestay son of Blaine and Tanya Murray. Mingi Kim, son of Jayak Kim and Milim Song, and homestay son of Tim and Ragnall Coleman. Jeremiah McClintock, son of Kelly and Stacy McClintock. Linka Minar, daughter of Peter and Sune Minar. Torin Murray, son of Blaine and Tanya Murray. Jethro Mowelwa, son of Adrian and Charity Mowelwa and the late Martha Mowelwa. Alyssa Pippin, daughter of Shelley Pippin and Stephen Pippin. Amanda Pippin, daughter of Shelley Pippin and Stephen Pippin.
Katrina Quintero, daughter of Peter and Claire Quintero. Addison Ramstead, son of Sheldon and Charlene Ramstead. Levi Redekop, son of Patrick and Mary Lee Redekop. Bo Feng Song, son of Ji Song and Hang Zhang. Jesse Spiele, son of Kelly and Jackie Spiele. Nathan Stevens, son of Ivan and Brenda Stevens. Tristan Taylor, son of Carla Taylor Brown and Brad Brown and Robert and Kimberly Taylor. I am honored to have the opportunity to acknowledge the 2020 graduates of Regina Christian School. My name is Krista Munson and I am the Vice Principal of Regina Christian School. I've had the privilege of working with these grade 12s in a variety of areas, including teaching the Advanced Placement English, coordinating our Inner City Mentorship Club, and providing post-secondary guidance and counselling throughout their school years. It is my pleasure to be your MC, and on behalf of the graduands and RCS staff, I thank you for joining us and for helping us celebrate the accomplishments of our grade 12 class. At this time, I'd like to begin our ceremony by inviting two graduands, Solveig Hovdestad and Isabel Hoffman Brum, to lead us in the singing of our national anthem. After this, our principal, Mr. Rod Rilling, will bring greetings and open our celebration in prayer. If this were a normal year, I would likely be saying good evening, but this is anything but a normal year. That being said, I would simply say hello. I'm not sure when you'll be viewing this virtual graduation ceremony for Regina Christian School 2020. On behalf of myself, the teachers and the staff at Regina Christian, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to honored guests, to parents, siblings, grandparents, extended family, special friends, and especially to the graduates of 2020 at Regina Christian School. No doubt you will be known as the pandemic class. Three months ago, I never would have expected that we would be ending our school year this way, and I'm sure none of you expected it either. It just goes to show, however, that life can throw curves and we need to be ready for anything. 
It highlights our need to trust in the Lord and commit our ways to him. Please remember, graduates, that the lack of a traditional celebration does not diminish your accomplishment in any way in reaching this milestone. I, again, I would simply encourage you, trust in the Lord, delight in his ways, and allow him to guide and direct your steps. I'm going to leave it to others to share some further words of wisdom with you graduates, but I do want to give a special shout out to your parents and to all those who have played such important roles in helping you to reach this milestone. Parents, you especially have experienced many milestones with your son or daughter, and no doubt over the years you've thought, oh, graduation, that's a long way off. And then suddenly it's here, it's happening right now. Where does time go? Moves so quickly. Along this journey, though, you bandaged up many cuts and scrapes. You organized carpools, drove to music lessons and sporting events. You organized birthday parties. You encouraged. Sometimes you prodded. You worked on science fair projects. And you probably even read those family life booklets we sent home with, to go over with your child. In addition... You bound up hearts when they were hurt. You explained that life wasn't always fair. And you even watched them make some decisions that you knew were going to hurt them. But you stayed out of it because you knew some things they just had to learn on their own. But most importantly, you prayed. You prayed for protection for your child. You prayed for wisdom and guidance for yourselves as a parent. You were faithful. You have done your job well. You must also take pride in this celebration. Give yourselves all a well-deserved pat on the back. And now I would ask that we all bow our heads and commit the rest of this ceremony to the Lord. Please bow. Dear good and gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you now. We ask for your blessing on this graduation ceremony as we celebrate with these young men and women and acknowledge their accomplishments. We pray that the words of encouragement that will be spoken during this time will touch their hearts and that they will provide them with guidance and direction as they go through the other phases and stages of their lives. We also pray for parents. We thank you for all of the sacrifice and the effort and the time that they have put in to raising their children in the fear and admonition of the Lord. We pray that you'd continue to encourage them as they pray for their children who are moving into the next phase of their life. We also pray for these young men and women as they take steps forward and ask, Lord, that they would trust you always. And now, once again, we just want to pray for your blessing and for wisdom and for guidance and direction. We commit this to you now in the special name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Solvay and Isabel, for sharing your talents and Mr. Rilling for the heartfelt words. Each year, the students choose a fellow classmate to give the salutatory address. This year's choice represents many characteristics of the class in academics, sense of humor, and service. He is a leader amongst his peers and serves as one of our co-presidents in our student body. This year's salutatorian is Jayush Beheg. It is with a grateful heart that I extend my welcome to you, the parents, teachers, staff, and my fellow seniors. I would like to start off with a thank you to the teachers and volunteers who worked tirelessly to prepare our ceremony despite the inconveniences brought by COVID-19. Regardless of the current situation, I am grateful for this opportunity in which our class, the graduating class of 2020, can celebrate the fruition of our four years of hard work. When I first started brainstorming ideas for this speech, I was worried about what I wanted to speak on. I wanted to fully express the appreciation I have for the school, while also keeping the focus on celebrating the graduation of our class. I want to appreciate the staff who continuously support us the parents who have put so much time and effort into raising us, as well as my fellow seniors who have worked and studied hard to reach this point. 
To the graduating class of 2020, guys and girls, we made it. Despite the irregularity of our senior year, we are nonetheless proud of our years as students of RCS. With hope and excitement, we look onward towards the future and the changes that come with moving forward with our lives. And as we anticipate the future, I also want to appreciate the memories that we made as a community. Looking back on our freshman year, it is evident that we have grown, not just physically, but as well as spiritually and mentally. We entered high school as scared and anxious teens, but through the help of the loving staff, as well as our friends and families, we have learned many valuable life lessons and have matured mentally and physically. We all are diverse in our passions and hobbies, and I hope that through this celebration, you will be able to see more of our traits as a class. I believe that through this ceremony, you will be able to see how our class has grown in unity, creativity, and integrity. We all have something special to bring to the class, and I am grateful to have been part of such a diverse and welcoming community. Today is a special day in which we celebrate both our individual achievements as well as our achievements as a class. And as we move forward with our lives, I hope that we continue to chase our passions and dreams and to never falter in our walk with Christ. Whether it be through basketball, art, leadership, or even academics, whatever passions we have, let us continue to walk forward and bring glory to God through it all. Once again, I would like to say congratulations to my fellow seniors and a warm welcome to everyone. It is an honor to welcome you all here. Thank you and enjoy the ceremony. Thank you, Jayush. When choosing a student to offer the valedictory address, we not only consider academics, but also spiritual and extracurricular aspects. This year's valedictorian has been a student at Regina Christian School since kindergarten. She certainly excels academically and has demonstrated her leadership in athletics, arts, missions, and through our Student Leadership Council. She volunteers and serves wherever possible. I am pleased to invite Daisy Flamin to offer this year's valedictory address. Hello, fellow graduates and families. It's an honor to be graduating alongside such a creative, entertaining, and bright group of people, even if it is at a distance. As we close this chapter of life amidst these chaotic times in the world, I hope that we will be remembered as a generation who face these challenges with integrity and perseverance. Through the challenges that the coronavirus has brought on us, we've learned to cope with unexpected change, how to deal with feelings of isolation and loneliness, and have learned how to better care for one another. This season is a reflection of what life will continue to be like at times, unpredictable, confusing, and messy. Through the challenges that come with life, we must persevere and lean on to the hope that Christ provides. We are a diverse group full of talent and passion, and we must use our strengths to bring hope to the hopeless. With that, I think that the most important thing I could do right now is to remind everyone of their purpose. The world will try to tell us where our sole purpose is, our careers, our relationships, or our skills. And though those things may be used to fulfill our purpose, they are not our primary reasons for breathing. The Bible clearly reminds us of where our purpose and our value lies. When asked what the greatest commandment was, Jesus stated it was to love God and to love others. Soon after this, before his ascension, he reminded his followers that it is our duty to make disciples of all nations. We must seek relationship with the Lord and let his love motivate us to love others. Whether you excel in academics or not, if you're an athlete or a theater kid, or you call yourself a people person or not, your purpose remains the same to love the Lord, love others, and spread the gospel across the world. As we enter a new chapter of our lives, we must always keep this at the forefront of our minds and allow it to shape the way that we live. Billy Graham summed this up when he said, it is the Holy Spirit's job to convict people, God's job to judge people, and our job to love people. It is crucial that we enter this new season remembering to whom we belong and why we were placed here. Thank you and congrats to my fellow graduates. Thank you, Daisy, for encouraging words to your fellow graduates. Mr. Wade Robertson has worked at Regina Christian School since 2014. He began his career with RCS as an educational assistant and worked with this graduating class in their grades seven and eight years. In 2016, he switched to his role as assistant building manager. During this time, he has maintained connections with these students. The graduating class has chosen Mr. Wade Robertson to offer the formal address. Hello everyone, 
Mr. Robertson here. Uh, when Mrs. Kramer asked if I would be willing to give a speech to this graduating class, I was deeply honored. So thank you very much for the opportunity to do this with you. Uh, as I considered what I wanted to accomplish with this speech, I concluded that I wanted to do two things. One is that I wanted to share some good memories with you and make you laugh a little bit. And two, is that I want to challenge you to consider your continual need of Christ and of the gospel. So in regards to good memories, I'm not quite at the age where I get to use this phrase very often, but I'm going to use it with you. You guys make me feel old. <laughs> when I came to this school, most of you were in grade seven here at RCS. You were about half my size and all your voices were about two octaves higher than what they are now. The fact that some of you almost look me in the eye and that you have turned into handsome and beautiful young men and women makes me feel very old. <laughs> your class has held a special place in my heart and yes, that includes all of the newcomers over the years who have been absorbed into this class. I guess you could say that I like you through osmosis or something like that. Now you should know that you're not my favorite because of how athletic you are. It's not because of how funny you are or how artistic you are or because of you're musically inclined. You're my favorite class because of how you treated someone very special to me. For those of you who don't know this delightful young man, this is Tyson Cross. Tyson doesn't attend RCS anymore, but he is the reason that you guys became my favorite class. When I was given the opportunity to work with Tyson at RCS, he quickly pulled me in with his trademark unconditional love and acceptance. And by doing so, I got pulled into your world. In the two years that I worked with Tyson, I got to know many of you quite well. Buddy sign up at recess, crazy antics in the OT room, field trips, Christmas musicals, which were strangely prophetic by the way, i.e. me being the janitor, and also things like dodging Tyson's bike in the gym class, afforded plenty of opportunities for me to get to know you. And yes, I was even with you for things like this. Just kidding, we're not going to relive that whole thing again. After Tyson moved to another school, and you entered into high school, my interactions with you became limited, but not entirely finished. There were many times when I would pass one of you in the hallway on my way to clean or fix something, and I would be prompted to pray for you. You see, RCS is a unique place in the sense that all of the staff are invested in your spiritual well-being. We want to see you live life well before the Lord. Perhaps it will encourage you to know that even the custodian of your school was and still is praying for you. I have continued to meet regularly with Tyson over the years, and I intend to continue doing so. When Tyson and I get together, I want you to know that we will continue to carry memories of you with us. Silly games and many locations throughout the city spark good memories of you guys for both me and for Tyson. And for that, I want to say thank you. The reason that I mention the past and memories so much is because I believe that God afforded me a special opportunity to be a part of some of the most formative years of your life. As I reflect on those years, I praise God for the virtues that I saw being formed in you. Virtues such as kindness, compassion, 
patience, and empathy. These virtues are something to be proud of. However, it does lead me to my second reason for this speech, which is that I want to challenge you to consider your continual need of Christ and of the gospel. The virtues of kindness, compassion, patience, and empathy are all good. However, as I consider final words of farewell, blessing, and warning, I must tell you that I want something better for you, graduating class of 2020. I want you all to grow in your knowledge of the gospel and grow in your love for Christ. Good virtues are desirable, but they're not enough. You need to be completely transformed. You need to consider every day how the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ really is the most important truth in your life, and it changes everything. Whether you enter into the workforce right out of school or pursue higher education, let Jesus take the kindness, compassion, patience, and empathy that you showed to me and Tyson and amplify it. May he turn it into something deeper. Let the gospel continue to change everything about you so that it may be said of you that you are indeed virtuous men and women, but that you're more than that, that you're Christians. Thank you so much for your time, you guys. I hope to see you again soon. But until then, take care. Mr. Robertson, on behalf of the graduates, I thank you for those encouraging words. It is now my pleasure to recognize our graduating class for their many achievements through their hard work and diligence in their studies and their involvement in the extracurricular programming and their communities. The law firm of Noble Johnston Law Office has graciously donated a scholarship for the student with the highest academic average in two of the four compulsory grade 12 classes, ELA A30 or B30 and History 30. This year, the Noble Johnson & Associates Award goes to Daisy Flamin, with an average of 95.5%. Congratulations, Daisy, and thank you to Noble Johnson Law Office for this wonderful donation. We are pleased to have a recipient of Briarcrest Christian High School Exemplary Student Scholarship in our graduating class. This award goes to a grade 12 student who has an academic average of 85% or higher, demonstrates Christian character, and plans to attend Briarcrest in the fall. This year, we are happy to recognize Amanda Pippin for Briarcrest Christian High School Exemplary Student Scholarship. Congratulations, Amanda, and thank you to Briarcrest for partnering with Christian Schools for this scholarship. The Miller College of the Bible Scholarship was created by Mr. and Mrs. John and Jane Tyler. This scholarship is available to all Regina Christian School graduates who are enrolled in the fall in a program at Miller College of the Bible. Attending Miller in the fall and receiving a Miller College of the Bible award this year, we'd like to recognize Torin Murray. Congratulations, Torin, and thank you to the Tylers for establishing this scholarship. Our next award is the Brace Academic Scholarship. Mrs. Doreen Brace was a teacher at RCS for 19 years. During her time, her primary focus was in our learning resource program. Mrs. Brace established this scholarship to be awarded to a grade 12 student who accessed the Learning Resource Program in their grade 12 year and attained outstanding academic achievement. They must also be accepted into a post-secondary institution. This year's Brace Academic Scholarship is awarded to Levi Redekop. Congratulations, Levi, and thank you, Mrs. Brace, for establishing the scholarship. Michael and the late Tina Ross established the Gillian Ross Memorial Bursary in 2011. Their daughter, Jillian, graduated from Regina Christian School in 2008. Her passion for the arts was evident in all areas of her life. The Jillian Ross Memorial Bursary goes to a graduating RCS student who is pursuing post-secondary studies. Like Jillian, this recipient has participated and shown a passion for the arts through drama and choir. As well, she has demonstrated Christian leadership through the Student Leadership Council and our missions teams while maintaining an academic average above 80%. 
we are pleased to present the Gillian Ross Memorial Bursary to Solveig Hovdestad. Congratulations, Solveig, and thank you to the Ross family for this opportunity to recognize a deserving student. Annie Duke and her family established the Annie Duke Education Scholarship. Annie passed away in May 2016. Annie believed education is a field that requires passionate people who want to teach and make a difference in their students' lives. As such, she and her family want to acknowledge a student who has chosen to enter directly into an education program at a recognized university. The deserving student will have been accepted into their education program, been recognized by staff for their interest and ability in teaching, and demonstrated academic success. This year's recipient has shown teaching and leadership skills through involvement with Musical, Guatemala Missions, and our worship team. We are pleased to present the Annie Dukes Education Scholarship to Amanda Pippin. Congratulations, Amanda, and thank you to the Duke family for this scholarship. The Casey Holgate Belonging Award was established in 2019 by Mr. and Mrs. Keith and Laura Holgate. The award was created in honor of their son, Casey, who passed away in 2010, two weeks before graduation in a tragic skateboarding accident. Casey had a soft heart and treated everybody with kindness and acceptance. Scholarships are also given out at Henry Jansen and Winston Knoll, his former schools, and now here at RCS where his sister Ellie attends. Every year, a student who is kind, giving, and accepting of all others is chosen to receive this award. This year, RCS's Casey Holgate Belonging Award goes to Curtis Giambattista. Congratulations, Curtis, and thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Holgate, for providing this opportunity to recognize a deserving student. The Glasspool Education Scholarship is awarded to a grade 12 student enrolled in an education program at a university. This student must graduate with an 80% or above average, display Christian character and maturity, and have been involved in athletics to some degree over his or her years at RCS. The recipient of this year's Glasspool Education Scholarship is Amanda Pippin. Thank you to the Glasspool family for the scholarship and congratulations, Amanda. Luther College has once again partnered with Regina Christian School to provide entrance awards. This year, we are happy to acknowledge five students who qualify for a Luther College Entrance Award. Congratulations to Janae Airy, Alexa Cullen, Arabella Fogarty, Linka Menar, and Levi Redekop. And thank you to Luther College for this opportunity. The University of Regina offers entrance scholarships for grade 12s entering the university's programs. These scholarships are awarded purely on the student's academic entrance average. This year, we are happy to acknowledge the following students for an academic entrance scholarship to the University of Regina. With a $1,000 award, Alexa Cullen. With a $1,500 award, Jayush Bihag, Jessica Geisem, and Levi Redekop. With a $3,000 award, Daisy Flamen, Alyssa Pippin, and Amanda Pippin. We are also pleased this year to have a recipient of the U of R's Business Excellence $1,000 Scholarship. This year, a Business Excellence Scholarship is given to Jeremiah McClintock. Congratulations to these deserving graduates and thank you to the University of Regina for their entrance award program. Every year, the University of Toronto offers a book award to the graduate of each class who demonstrates leadership, academics, and service. We are pleased to present the U of T Book Award to Daisy Flamin. Regina Christian School is a member of the Association of Christian Schools International. ACSI recognizes grade 11 and 12 students within their high schools for outstanding achievement in academics, fine arts, leadership, and Christian service. Students are nominated each year. To be a recipient, students must receive at least two teacher nominations for a given category. We are honored to present the 2019-20 ACSI Awards for Leadership to Janae Airy, Jayush Bihag, Daisy Flamen, Jessica Geisem, Curtis Giambattista, and Solvig Hovdestad. For Athletics to Alexa Cullen, Jessica Geisem, Jerry McClintock, Jesse Spiele, and Tristan Taylor. For Fine Arts to Solvig Hovdestad, Linka Menar, Alyssa Pippin, and Amanda Pippin. For academics, to Jayush Bihag, Daisy Flamen, Solveig Hovdestad, Alyssa Pippin, and Amanda Pippin. And for Christian service, to Daisy Flamen, Curtis Giambattista, and Solveig Hovdestad. 
Thank you to ACSI for recognizing our students. We will now shift gears to our school-based awards. I will begin our presentations with the 2020 Athletic and Extracurricular Awards. Each year, our coaches identify individual players for recognition. The Most Valuable Player Award goes to a team member who made exemplary contributions to the team. The Most Improved is given to a team member in recognition of hard work, dedication, and a will to improve his or her abilities. And the Coach's Award is given to a team member for outstanding team leadership, encouragement, and intangible contributions to the team. Some of our grade 12 graduates have received these extracurricular distinctions. Mr. Reed coached the curling team. Earning the Most Improved Award, we recognize Jaden Elick, and earning the Coach's Award is Isaac Christensen. Mr. Glassbell coached our senior boys basketball team. Earning the Coach's Award, we recognize Jeremiah McClintock. And earning the Most Valuable Player Award is Jesse Spiele. Ms. McLaren coached our senior girls volleyball team. Earning the Coach's Award, we recognize Daisy Flamin. And for Most Valuable Player, we have two recipients, Alexa Cullen and Jessica Geisen. Mrs. Kramer with Mr. Josh Tippy coached our senior girls basketball team. Earning the Coach's Award, we recognize Alexa Cullen. And earning the Most Valuable Player Award is Jessica Geisem. The final Athletics Award is our Grizzly of the Year Award. Each year, the Athletics Program acknowledges the top grade 11 or 12 athletes' contribution and outstanding performance to the Grizzly Athletics Program. Earning recognition as Male Grizzly of the Year, we recognize Jeremiah McClintock. And earning recognition as Female Grizzly of the Year, Jessica Geisem. In addition to athletics, we like to acknowledge our students' involvement in the arts. Mr. Maxwell works with our students in our Worship Arts program. The Worship Arts Excellence Award goes to a worship team member in recognition of exemplary contributions to the worship team. This year, we'd like to acknowledge John Kim. RCS's Extracurricular Awards program appreciates each student and staff member who participates. Each year, we like to recognize students for their involvement. Students collect points for each activity they are involved in and accumulate these points over their time here as a student. The following student has earned a certificate with 60 collective points, Do Hoon Kim. Earning an extracurricular pin for 120 collective points are Isaac Christensen, Jethro Mawelwa, and Addison Ramstead. Earning a bronze pin for 180 collective points are Jayush Bihag, Arabella Fogarty, John Kim, Alyssa Pippin, Amanda Pippin, and Jesse Spiele. Earning a silver pin for 240 collective points are Jessica Geisem, Solveig Hovdestad, and Lincoln Menar. Earning a gold pin for 300 collective points are Curtis Giambattista and Katrina Quintero. Earning a keeper plaque for 350 points is Katrina Quintero. Earning a special award for over 450 cumulative points is Daisy Flamin. Our final extracurricular award is the Extracurricular Grizzly of the Year Award. This award is given in recognition of accumulating the most extracurricular points in grade 12 for the 2019-20 school year. This year's Extracurricular Grizzly of the Year Award for earning 90 points is Katrina Quintero. In recognizing academic excellence, we'd like to acknowledge the graduate with the highest academic average. With an average of 97.25%, we recognize Daisy Flamin. Congratulations, Daisy, on your accomplishment and achievement. As well, each year we identify a student from each grade who we see has improved the most from last year's academic average. We are happy to give this year's most improved award to Nathan Stevens with a 6.64% average increase. We are proud of you, Nathan, for your hard work. We also like to recognize the student who has the highest average in two or more arts courses taken in a given year. This year, with an average of 97.5% in choral and drama in first semester, we're pleased to recognize Lincoln Menar for the Fine Arts Award. In addition to academics, we recognize a male and female student from each grade who has consistently demonstrated a Christian attitude and service towards teachers, peers, and the entire school community. 
This year, our Grade 12 Servant Heart Awards go to Solveig Hodestad and Curtis Giambattista. The final award for our 2019-20 graduation ceremony is the Grade 12 Triple Merit Award of Excellence. Regina Christian School recognizes the importance of developing students not only with academics, but also with Christian character and service and extracurricular involvements. To be eligible for the award, a student must have a minimum average of 85%, be nominated by teachers for his or her Christian attitude and service, and have participated in at least 50% of the extracurricular opportunities available to them in that year. As well, the Grade 12 recipient must be continuing their studies the following year. The 2019-20 Triple Emerit Award of Excellence goes to a very deserving Grade 12 student, John Kim. Congratulations, John. We appreciate you and all you have contributed to the life at Regina Christian School. Thank you to all of the graduates on their hard work and accomplishments this year. Each graduate receives an RCS diploma and congratulatory gift from the school and the Regina Christian School Association. Included with their gift are congratulatory messages from Saskatchewan officials. At this time, I'd like to once again acknowledge each Regina Christian School 2020 graduate. Janae Airy. Daly Bellagard, Jayush Behag, Isaac Christensen, Alexa Cullen, Jaden Elick, Daisy Flamen, Arabella Fogarty, Jessica Geisum, Curtis Giambattista, Caleb Hagland, Isabel Hoffman Brum, Solveig Hovdestad, Justin Jung, Dohun Kim, John Kim, Jeremiah McClintock, Linka Minar, Torin Murray, Jethro Mawelwa, Alyssa Pippin, Amanda Pippin, Katrina Quintero, Addison Ramstead, Levi Redekop, Bofeng Song, Jesse Spile, Nathan Stevens, and Tristan Taylor. I am honored to present to you Regina Christian School's graduation class of 2020. Congratulations again to the graduating class of 2020. You have all been a wonderful part of our student body, and we are honored to have you enter into our alumni. To pray for our students as they leave Regina Christian School, our graduates have asked Mrs. Jennifer Kramer, our grade 11 homeroom and literacy leader, to do the honors. As I pray, if you feel comfortable, I invite you to surround your graduate and to lay your hands upon him or her in blessing. As we commission them to go out into this new phase of life that God has prepared for them. Loving Father, we thank you so much for today. And even though this day looks very different than what each of these graduates and their families had hoped and planned for, we want to recognize that it is still a very special day, a day of celebration and rejoicing over the accomplishments of each and every graduate. We thank you for each one, for their unique personalities and giftings that we have been blessed to share over the last number of years. We thank you that you have given them to us to be a part of our lives and that we have been able to be a part of theirs. As they move into the coming years, God, we ask for your blessing upon them. May they know your presence in a way that defies all understanding. For many, our current world situation has made their future plans tentative at best and completely changed at worst. I ask that you would grant them peace and patience at this time, that they would not worry that life is passing them by or being unfair, but that they would recognize that you are on your throne and that they have nothing to fear or be anxious about. May they spread this peace and understanding to all that they come into contact with because our world desperately needs the good news, the gospel message that they carry. And may they use their gifts and talents to bring about your kingdom and your will here on earth as it is in heaven. May these young men and women step into the calling that you have for them, one that has more to do with who they are as people than what profession they would ever have. May they know that you go before them 
and that may they not only know it in their heads, but may they fully understand it in their hearts, that you are always with them and that you are always for them. That even when people or circumstances fail, you will never fail them, nor will you forsake them. May they face their coming days with courage and the assurance that you are with them. Now, loving God, we ask that you bless and keep each one, that you would make your face to shine upon them and to be gracious to them. May you lift up your countenance upon them and give them your peace. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Kramer. What a fitting way to end our ceremony. On behalf of the graduating class of 2020 and the Regina Christian School staff, I thank you for joining us to celebrate our students' accomplishments. We are very proud of each of our graduates and we look forward to seeing where God will lead them, how he will take their talents and gifts and use them for his great purpose. Thank you again. God bless and keep safe.